So this is the pencil that we're gonna work with. This happens to be uh, from Amazon, Amazon Basics. I've tried everything that uh, Walmart, Staples, and Office Max had to offer. Uh, this seemed to come out working the best. It has a lot to do with the wood that they use in them. Uh, you may notice that these objects have six sides, and some people call these hexagons. Uh, we've got a more common name for them here in Arizona. We just call them pencils. Uh, important to know when you're shopping. Uh, we're going to start, uh, we're going to rotate around two corners from the logo. So we're going to count around here, one, two, and this is the corner that we're going to put the face on. Keeps the logo out of the way. Start up here close to the top. We're going to do a profile for the nose initially. And so when we cut this in here, we want that cut to go almost all the way across the pencil. Make another cut below the nose, angling it down slightly. This is a totally awkward way for me to carve. I generally hold this in my lap, but uh, we'll see how it works. Static builds up and the chips really cling to everything. Uh, so you have to keep brushing them off. Put a little angle on either side under the nose. And we're gonna taper the nose slightly to each side. So the cut is going right up the center of the nose. When I remove this chip, I'm gonna rotate the pencil and make a little stop cut for the uh, top of the brow. We'll do the same on each side. I'm now gonna come in and make a little angle cut right at the top of that angle that I put under the nose. It's gonna angle up into the face. And we're, again, we're just knocking the corner off leaving the end of the nose in place. We're going to come in and clean out just a tiny little pop at the corner of the nose. My buddy Jack Price would call this his 50 cent cut on the little faces that he carves. When we get that little chip out of there, that really signifies the end of the nose that we're trying to put on here. Take just another little corner off the edge of the cheek here. And we'll put a little stop cut coming down from the corner of the eye. I'm going to now move up above the eye cut to the brow and put an angle cut on each corner. Now the most dangerous cut of all is coming right in at the corner of the eye with the tip of the knife and stabbing it into the lead. The danger being my finger is the only thing on the other side of this pencil. After you uh, stab yourself a few times, uh, you learn how much pressure you can get away with putting on there without going through. And uh, unfortunately, it's uh, learned by trial and error or learned by fire. We get this little chip on one side, we'll do the same on the other side. If, uh, if I happen to go through the pencil, we're gonna stop the video because I'm now on blood thinners. A 
one of the reasons I've decided to start doing some videos is because uh, I'm no longer as protective of my ideas and what I'm doing. Because I know people see this and say, oh, what an easy way to make a buck. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run with that and call it my own. We're all done except for the mouth and the mustache now. So we'll move down here and make a stop cut under the mustache. Just coming down, angling across this corner. Same on the other side. Take the tip of the knife, create a little shadow between the mustache and the mouth. Again, this is my first video with this little device here. So, uh, Bear with me, we'll hope it serves you. Take a little chip out under the lip now, under the lower lip. And they're gonna angle and determine the length of our beard here. I see a lot of people trying these and they go through with a V tool and try to cut the hair in the beard. The more cuts you make, the messier it gets. Fewer cuts keep them cleaner. And I think they look better. And whoops, and that's basically it. We're gonna come in now with a pen and sign it. Take it over to the table and paint it. And it's good to go. That's your basic face on a pencil.